Hello YouTube. Right, so I'm back with another video. Um, just to quickly show you, this is my um, ZX 48K Plus machine. Uh, if I just open it up here, I'll show you. It's basically like the rubber key spectrum, but inside a big, bigger case, if you like. It looks exactly the same layout with the RAM chips down the bottom there. It's exactly the same. Um, but over here, let's put that back. We've got the 128K one. Now I managed to get this off another YouTube member, Griffo, and uh, when I got it, it didn't work. Um, I asked him a couple of questions on coming at some of the forums, and in fact, it turns out that um, this was faulty down there. So, quick run to Maplin's, £1.30 I think it was, swap that out and then, um, yeah, it worked perfect. Um, there was a problem though with this one and the 48 was the, obviously the buttons wasn't working so you'd only get one or two key presses and not, not them all. Um, and what it was, I, I ordered a new... A membrane for the keyboard but when I put it in I was still getting nothing, it still wasn't working and um, what it is is I don't know if you can see but if you can see where the membrane goes into the PCB there although it was making connection it wasn't if that makes sense so what I did was I cut some of the membrane from the old membrane and jammed it in there so now it's making a really snug I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see on that one. There, can you see? Just over the back there, you could be able to see the other membrane. Yeah. So, when I put it on now, it was making really good contact, and that was it. I was I was panicking a bit because um, I thought it was chip related, but obviously it wasn't. It was that. So I'm well chuffed to have this because this was the last Sinclair machine made before Amstrad bought them out and then it changed to Amstrad on the screen so when you switch it on you get Spectrum so fantastic um, also I've just been tinkering about um, I bought this this SCART lead from a um, retro computer what's it called? Retro Computer Shack and it works on my BVM but it doesn't work on my plasma I get like a ghost image on the plasma don't know why, I'll quickly show you how it looks on there yeah so that's how it looks and um, I've also been tinkering about so if you can see this is the power supply for the um, the one two eight, and it's the same one as the plus two. But I didn't really want to use the plus two because obviously, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'd see the chopped uh, plus two I've got. So I really want to use it for that. So I made my own, and what I did was I I bought this off eBay quite expensive, about £9 and what I did was I rewired it inside so because the cable was quite short so I made a longer cable and then fitted a uh, lamp switch so when I plug it into the spectrum I can actually turn it off and turn it on instead of plugging it, un unplugging it out or plugging it in and unplugging it so yeah just been messing about with these few bits Thanks for watching. 